So in a previous video, we took a look at a workflow that I like to use when archiving my mix sessions. And this is basically any hardware processing that was used. I wanna print this to a channel or to a track rather, either mono or stereo, so that I don't have to worry if I ever need to recall that mix, even if I need to make some minor tweaks, I can make those adjustments. Now that workflow is fantastic and this is something that we've done. So we've printed a lead vocal, we've printed, uh, where is it here, we've printed a cajon, we've printed a bass guitar, we've also done a stereo print of a guitar submix because we were using my ADL 600 on this. Now like I said, worst case scenario, if I had to recall this, I even have set up a software version of uh, an SSL bus compressor that I could enable. And this mix will sound relatively the same, uh, very close actually, with the exception of the Cinemag transformers that are on the warm audio bus compressor. All right. That being said, this doesn't take everything into account. This is one of the cool new features that we have with Studio One 5.1. We've always had the ability to drag and drop sends. So I could, for example, drag this send over, drag this send over. And if this is done to multiple different tracks or multiple different channels, then we could drag all of those over together. One of the big changes that we see in version 5.1 is quite similar to how we can drag entire effects chains. We can actually drag a send chain, which will bring over all of the sends at the same time. So check this out. If we click hold and we drag over, I can copy all of these at once. Now this to me is super useful because a lot of the times, especially on something like a lead vocal, I will end up having multiple sends. And these could be bus channels, side chains, anything like that that are on a track. And especially if it's a lot of tracks, it comes in really handy to be able to do this. So this is kind of like a last step of my archiving process. Let's just double click the sends to snap them over here. Uh, this is a cajon print because I was using some hardware here. At this point, I can drag this over. We only have one send here, so we don't have to worry about that. At this point, if I really wanted to, I could even come in here and I could disable this track all together. Now it's not using any of this processing. I don't have to worry about the external hardware being recalled because I've printed this. And what else do we need to do? We have bass. We have no sense here. So that's okay. Uh, for the guitars, this is the way they sounded over here from the actual bus channel being soloed. So now I've made a print of this, but this is going to be dry, of course. And I need to unmute this event. But the same thing over here. I can just click, hold, and drag. Whoops. Click, hold, and drag right into this section. And now... And it sounds the exact same as this. So again, at this point, I could even select all of these tracks and channels, right click, and I could disable everything. In this case, I'm gonna leave them active, but this is a really useful feature. The one thing that it doesn't take into account, and I would very much like to see this taken into account is, let's say for a second, let me, let me remove these. I'm gonna hold down Command and just click, hold and drag, and I can remove these sends. Let's say that on this channel over here, let's say that I had some automation. I'm just gonna click this and use my Option or uh, Alt A, which allows me to see this automation parameter. And let's say that this was automated. This is the one thing that isn't taken into account uh, when it comes to the send chain. So if I click, hold, and it's a little bit, you gotta click, hold, and drag kind of diagonally down, and I drag this in. Notice that if I now select this one, this channel over here, and I was to expand the envelopes, notice we don't have an envelope for that. If I expand these envelopes, you can see that this is here. The really quick and easy way to be able to adjust this is quite simply to come into the channel that you copied to. I'm gonna select the same parameter, Option or Alt A, and then come into this area, you wanna highlight this is selected the nodes, everything over here. I'm gonna click L to locate the selection and then it's Command C. 
and we'll come down here and we'll select this automation lane, Command V. Now I've copied this level and the only thing I would need to do is make sure that the level uh, preceding that point is, is done right. So at this point, I could just delete that node. And that's how you would have to get your automation over is by uh, manually adding those automation lanes into the envelopes of the new track and then just copying and pasting them. Just make sure that when you do that, you have to make sure that you just click L, locate selection, so that you're copying it from the proper point. If you do have automation and it's at different levels, the way that this works is, let me just, let's get rid of this for a quick moment. Um, I wanna make sure it's on the right one, yeah. Well, we'll take this, let's just remove this for a moment. Um, let's say that I copied this parameter over. Again, we'll just get rid of these sends by dragging them out. Let's say I copied it over from here. Our send level is minus 10.1. So if I click, hold, and drag from here down into here, this is copied in at minus 10.1. We'll get rid of these for a quick moment. But if I was to do that from a different area where the send level is different, for example, over here, click, hold, and drag, Notice that instead of minus 10.1, it's minus 15.8. So the level, if you have automation, the level at which the sends get copied is dependent on your cursor position. Hopefully this is something they can take care of. Maybe something like a copy send chain complete or something, which would also bring over the automation. That would be absolutely amazing. But for now, I'm just happy that we don't have to drag these over one by one. It's a little finicky. Uh, like I said, it's a little bit hard to get the positioning right. You kind of have to kind of click down and across, but without moving the send thing. But once you get the hang of it, super useful feature. This is something that was new and added in Studio One version 5.1. Anyways, that's all the time I have available for today. I hope that you enjoyed this content. If you did, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'll do my absolute best to get back to you. And as always, we will catch you in the next video. Cheers.